Hey, good morning, my friends. We know what time it is. Time for a cup of coffee. Well, we're entering a period of two or three days of rain, so uh, we're going to stay in here and stay dry and stay warm. You know, it's wet and windy and chilly out there. It's uh, 56 degrees. Um, not used to it being that chilly around here. <laughs> well, that's a little bit of a joke for my friends in Winnipeg who warmed all the way up to near zero yesterday. <laughs> any rate, you know, one of the biggest challenges we face, all of us face, in the building our businesses, building our life, reaching our goals, doing whatever we want to do in life, is belief. Belief that we can. Belief that we're good enough. Belief that we have what it takes. Um, Earl Nightingale made the observation that the opposite of success is not f failure, it's conformity. The biggest challenge we have in our society is conformity. People get it drilled into their head at a young age that they have to be like everyone else. I believe it starts in the education system. Stand in line, wear a uniform, sit down, shut up, do what you're told, don't think. Um, and it, it permeates our entire life, our desire to fit in, our desire to not be criticized for being different, for, to not be ridiculed for setting off on our own path. And so we end up with conformity. And you know what? It doesn't take us anywhere. If we conform, then we're just like everybody else. The great flywheel of society, as uh, somebody once put it, and I forget who the author was that used that term, but the great flywheel of society. And we need those people. But is that what you want to be? Is that what you want to do with your life? Is conformity your enemy? Hey, that's all for today. This is Len. I hope you're going to have a wonderful day as usual. I intend to be happy. It's a choice. You get to make it every day. Make it wisely. And don't forget, give candy to strangers. We'll talk again tomorrow. Bye for now.